In this video, we are going to be covering our latest added feature, the scheduling feature. And to do so, or if you want to schedule an event for this meeting room, for example, to happen like uh, on a scheduled timing, uh, this is what you need to do. So first you need to go to the library. And then as you can see here, the scheduling feature is added here. So let's say you want to schedule an event, for example, to turn on the meeting room every day by 8 a.m., for example. Uh, what you do here is you go and add an event. And as you can see here, this is how the layout will look like for the page. So first thing you want to do is to actually specify the date or uh, is it going to be daily or weekly? So the frequency here will allow you to do so. If you choose daily, you can choose daily, say, for example, at 8 a.m. And you can save it right away. And then you just need to do is specify what does this room need to do every day at 8 o'clock. So, for example, uh, let's say it's going to turn on the light, for example. And also say, for example, it's gonna turn on uh, the entire PDU. So we have the macro here for PDU on. Uh, also, let's say uh, it's gonna um, switch the input to say a media player that is connected to our matrix. So which is, for example, on input number one. And this is it for scheduling an event on daily basis. Now, let's say if you want to schedule an event on like a weekly base or something different than a daily base. So again, you need to go back here and then specify weekly. And then you have every day here. You can choose the days you want this event to happen. So for example, uh, you want it only on weekdays so maybe you will specify from monday to friday and specify the time and save it and then again you just need to add the commands this scheduling will be executing as soon as it get to the exact time that is specified here so this was the video covering like the scheduling feature which is added Thank you very much.